Okay. Like I said, I'd be right back. So, okay. Now, if you guys have heard this before in one of my other videos, I, I strongly apologize. But it's been bugging me literally for like probably six months. Um, at the time, I was on this shit called Suboxone that they gave me at um, Pasadena Recovery Center um, when I went there because um, a really um, good person in my life it, it was giving me some methadone a couple of times a day because I was, you know, like quitting. Um, I had relapsed on like painkillers and this and that, which is kind of what took me out of the gym in the first place and da 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 da. I got back into the gym when I was using the methadone and then all of a sudden they just like literally stopped giving people methadone. So she couldn't give it to me. In turn, I was like, fuck, I don't want to like withdraw or anything. So like I went to Pasadena Recovery Center, the doctor there put me on fucking Suboxone, which I may be allergic to, I don't know, but I had like these really weird reactions to it. Like I would think things were happening that weren't happening. Um, I literally at one point asked my girlfriend if I was dead. I was like, am I dead? Like almost like in the movie The Sixth Sense type of thing. But I was being serious. Like I, I don't know. It just, I thought there was like this really skinny person hiding behind our dresser. That literally was pushed up against the wall watching me. Um, I thought I heard my daughter sneaking people into the house at like 4.30 in the morning. Um, and, you know, I naturally like fucking, you know, I'm always armed. So, um, you know, it just wasn't a good drug for me. So now, I don't know if this was a dream I had based on the fact that I was using that Suboxone for a short period of time or if it's something that I actually saw. Now, I do know that the first time I think I saw it was at the same time that the season to a zoo um, premiered on Netflix. And I know that because I love fucking zoo. I think zoo's awesome. I'm not so fucking pumped on the third season as I am the first two, but, like, I fucking love Zoo. Um, Billy Burke, dude, you are the man. Like, he is probably one of my all-time favorite fucking actors. Like, he was in another show I watched on Netflix. I believe it was called, like, Revolution or, or something like that. But, like, Billy Burke is fucking hands down one of my favorite fucking actors. I love Billy Burke. I think that he is top notch. He's a level 10 actor. Like he's fucking Illuminati shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, he's not in this movie anyway. So, um, the first time I think I saw it was when season two hit zoo. Now, I thought that it was like the first two episodes of the second season of Zoo, but it wasn't. So then I thought, okay, maybe it was something else that debuted at the same time, and I watched that first. Okay, so here's how the movie went. Poor dream. I think it started on like a, a ship, a cruise ship. I'm pretty sure it started on a cruise ship, and it was a game, and um, the game was played... Um, there's a wall, okay, um, and on the wall is cubes that have these, like, round orbs in them, and the orbs are prizes, okay, now, you can get, um, like, pieces to weapons that, like, when you have all the pieces, you can put the weapon together and use it to, like, shoot other people's orbs down or prizes or whatever, they're, like, not real guns, though. They're, like, fucking, you know, something you would use in a game type of gun. Not a paintball gun, but, like, you know. Anyway. So, there's, like, these water orbs, money orbs, um, or cubes, or whatever you want to call them. And the way it's played, 
was is they would they were climbing you would climb the wall if you had to or whatever and it went it was a three-dimensional wall too so like you get them like tic-tac-toe way or deep or whatever and um shit let's drop the camera anyway once you got three of the same thing you got to bank it in your little bank thing okay so they're playing on a cruise ship and then um it went to like a mall like outside a mall i think a mall or something and um knock it off knock it off and um there's like all these people outside cheering and chanting they like want to play or whatever like it's obviously in the future at some point but um anyway game was the same then it ended up being um uh, and the and I, I could have sworn I saw it twice too because like I remember like the Netflix had you know like the little things when you look on Netflix like had like a little picture of the like one of the prize cube orb things and I could have sworn I watched it again but um, anyway um, if any of you know what movie that is or show that is. Please fucking tell me in the comments. Um, I might even fucking send you a gift for it. Because it's been driving me fucking crazy. Or if it's not real. You know, say, hey dude, none of us have ever fucking heard of that shit. And if it's not real. You know, everybody that I've described it to in depth is like. Dude, if that's not real, you should write it. Because it fucking sounds rad. So, anyway, futuristic thing, prize wall, banking these things, da 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 And they moved really funny, too, okay? Like, um, they could kind of, like, shape change and, like, fit into, like, you know, if you could, like, a player could throw one. And, like, it would kind of, like, squeeze its way into being the third of the three you need or whatever. So, um, if that's not real, it was, like, the most realistic dream I've ever had. And it's also the only dream I've ever had more than once. I've never had reoccurring dreams before. So, if it was a dream, it's the first reoccurring dream I've had. So, if you know what movie I'm talking about, or show, or whatever, please, please, please let me know. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you do know what it is, and you're the first one to let me know, I will fucking send you a brand new Invicta watch. Um, because that's how bad it's been bugging me. You know what I mean? Like, I really will. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off for now because I can't remember any more about And you know what? Every night when I lay down, I try to remember more about it. And, like, that's really what I have left in my memory is those things, you know. Um, but, I mean, I think that if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about off the basic premise of what I said. Um, cruise ship, game outside a mall or something, the game's being played, um, collecting prizes, um, you know, in order to, like, stay alive, win, whatever, so, like, you'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen it, if it's real, please let me know, and, um, I imagine that somebody out there, if it is real, has seen it, so, if you have, and you're the first one to tell me the name of it, and you're right, I will give you a brand new Invicta watch. Because that's how bad I need to fucking know. Alright? Peace for now.